everyone, this is Avinash from SOAS. In this video, we will see how Workshop Certify's diagnostic tool works. Now, Certify diagnostic tool helps you diagnose issues that you encounter when you're using Workshop Certify's interfaces. Remember, this is part of an administrative task, so to execute the recommendations from the report, you must be an administrator. Let's navigate to Certify's help menu to open the diagnostic tool. Now from Certifies help menu, you can see that there is a menu item called Diagnostics. Now here, there are two types of Diagnostics report. One is the Odd Diagnostics report, which gives you the complete report of all these interfaces that you see here. And then the individual report that is specific to the interface alone. Now let's consider all Diagnostics report. The Diagnostics report is now generated for all the interfaces. Now the tool has three sections. The first one is the menu bar. The second one is your summary pane here and the details pane is the last one. Now if you highlight a specific interface in the summary pane, it gives you the corresponding details in the details pane. Now the menu bar has got around three items. Now the find is going to find a specific term in your report item. Now for example, let's consider I key in Java and do a find. It pulls me all the items that are related to this keyword. Now nodes, as you already know that, expand all is going to expand all the nodes in my summary pane and collapse is going to the opposite. Now you also have another interesting feature here to save this report as a file. So for that I have to go to file and save. So now I can save this in my computer. Now you see that I have saved it as an XML file. Now I can send this over to my administrator over an email so that he can look at the report. Now, as an administrator, I would open this XML file, file open, and I choose the diagnostics XML file that I received, and now you can see that it opens. So now I'm going to guide the developer on what to do, or I will do it myself. So now you can see in the summary pane, you can see different set of icons here. Now the red ones are the errors so if you click on the specific interface and summary pane, in the details pane, it is going to tell you the number of errors. So in my case, if you see the first one, the flex interface, it has got one error. If I click on the error, it is going to give me the recommended action. Now here it says manually enable hook. So this is the path for that. So now I need to go to this path and open flex installation tool to enable the hook. And now after that, if I'm going to rerun the report, it is going to give me an OK. Now the yellow ones are called the warnings. Now warnings are actually not a specific error. It may be temporary. Now for example here, for SAP, it gives me a warning. Now you see here, there is no active SAP quiz session. Now when I open an SAP, it's going to work fine. It's going to turn green here. Now the green ones are actually the OK ones. That means that you don't have any problem in the interface highlighted in green. Now remember, even though you can access the diagnostic tool, you must be an admin to carry out the task that is recommended by the diagnostic tool. Let's consider a scenario where diagnostic tool can be really useful. Consider the account manager sample Java application that comes with Worksoft installation. Now when I try to learn this application with Certify Java Learn, you see that I'm not able to learn the application. Now I definitely know that there is an issue with my interface, but I don't know what the issue is. So now let me run that diagnostic report for Java. So I go to certify, help, diagnostics, and Java. So now you can see that I definitely have some errors and I have two errors here. Now when I click on the errors, it gives me the recommended action. Now the first error that I have is I'm missing a bridge jar file called certify bridge. And the second issue is I'm missing an entry in accessibility.property file. Now you can see that it not only tells me the issue, but also the recommended action on how to fix the issue. You can see that the first one, it tells me to copy a file from this path to this path. Now the second one is add this entry to this assistive.technology property. So now let me do the changes and rerun the report.
I have now completed making the changes as per the diagnostics report. Now let's rerun the report and check if the issues are resolved. You can see that we no longer have any issues and it says the report status as OK. Now let's try to learn the application again. So now you see that the account manager sample Java application learns without any issues. So this is how WorkSoft Certifies Diagnostic Tool can help fix issues and definitely can be a lifesaver in a lot of situations. Thank you all for watching the video. This is Avinash from SOAS and I'm signing off.